this is the Wednesday uh, day thought being a cousin has to be prepared on Tuesday night because of other commitments. Have you ever had a mountaintop experience? I mean a couple's retreat or a marriage enrichment retreat or uh, perhaps a uh, evangelistic uh, meeting at your church or maybe it was just getting alone in uh, your own room with your own Bible and being able to spend some really quality time with God and having him say something special to you through the scriptures you read and uh, perhaps uh, some special insight that you got into a passage of scripture. It must have been a little bit like that for Peter, James, and John when they went up on the mountaintop. You know, they'd fed the 5,000, they'd been busy, and they'd accomplished a lot of work, and uh, now they were on the mountaintop, and there on the mountaintop, uh, they had Moses and Elijah appear with Jesus in all of their glory. Uh, they thought they were, you know, in a trance or asleep, but they knew they were wide awake, and they saw the glory of God. And Peter made the stupid statement. He said, uh, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. You find it all in Matthew chapter 9, beginning at verse 28. But then a voice out of heaven came and it said, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. And when the voice had spoken, Jesus was found to be alone. They kept silent. No one reported any of these things. And then it says something quite interesting in verse 37. They came down from the mountain to a large crowd that greeted them. Some needed to be healed and some needed some other special attention. But the truth of the matter is, even when we have our mountaintop experiences, there are times when, although we'd like to stay in that mountaintop experience continually, what we really need to do is come down off of the mountain and get back to service. So if you've had a wonderful mountaintop experience, I'm really thankful for it, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. But, you know, sometimes we have to come down off of the mountain. Sometimes we have to continue to serve. I hope that you'll think about that today as you look around at the opportunities that surround you and see ways that you might be able to serve your fellow man, how you can serve the Lord, and how you can continue to glorify Him. Not every day is going to be a mountaintop experience. Sometimes you have to get out in the valleys. But I hope that you'll be ready for whatever God has for you. And you'll think about those words that were spoken out of heaven. This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.